Hi everyone, Kevin Eikhoff here from Kevin Eikhoff Ministries. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about Neem Karoli Baba, the ashram in Taos, New Mexico, and just spiritual practice surrounding Neem Karoli Baba. And many of you may know, a long time ago, I took up the book, Be Here Now, was really attracted to Bhagavan Das out of that book. Uh, Alpert, Richard Alpert, um, who became Baga, um, uh, Baba Das, Ram Das, he basically uh, wrote some wonderful things in that book and inspired me to be attracted to Neem Karoli Baba because of that. And I had connections to Neem Karoli Baba just through reading that book and through my attention and meditative practice at that time and thinking and about Neem Karoli Baba and bringing my attention to that. Um, so when I was in meditation, I would have thoughts of Neem Karoli Baba and he would come to me in the meditations. And that's how it happened. I never physically met Neem Karoli Baba. And um, I have watched especially since this COVID thing, numerous Zoom videos at the Taos Temple in New Mexico, especially since it's been remodeled, and have had some wonderful, profound experiences through the cure times they're doing there. And so you don't have to physically be present at these cure times. You can do it through a Zoom channel. You can do the cure time at home on your own. The best way of spiritually enhancing yourself is to have a cure time that you wholeheartedly believe is coming through and through you and from you and it can be a simple song it doesn't have to be a hindu song it doesn't have to be a song that's in some other language it can be a song in english it could be a christian song it doesn't have to necessarily be a hanuman chalisa or something like that even though that's very nice you don't have to do that. It's just something that is very heartfelt that you connect to that brings you outside of yourself that takes you to that other place, that other space. And that other space is where you want to exist that lets go of all that emotional trash that's there. All the things in your life that you have that aren't good for you, you need to let go of. And that's how you can use someone like Neem Karoli Baba and some of his practices to let go. And as far as kirtan goes, the way to really do it is to listen to that kirtan music wholeheartedly through yourself, through every cell of your body. And when the kirtan music stops, you close your eyes, you focus on the third eye space, and you feel the energy of that music, that chant, that song, that bhajan that went on, you feel that in every soul and you let it just infuse into every aspect of your being. That's how you use kirtan to develop and enhance yourself further. And so I encourage everyone to go out and see the temple in Taos, New Mexico, but it's not necessary. I've had profound experience just sitting at home in my living room watching them do some of the ceremonies there. And I see videos from there pretty much every day. And I don't always click like or love on them. I just watch them. And, you know, you don't have to let other people know you're on there. You can just watch them in the, in the comfort of your own home and get the same energy, the same uh, spiritual upliftment as you would as if you were there. And so I want to encourage everybody to at least develop some type of spiritual practice or techniques in their life that they do on a daily basis because you, consistency is a big part of practice. If you're not consistent, you're not going to gain anything from it. It's just like the person that exercises or works out. You have to do it all the time in order for it to build the total enhancement of the self or the body. And so exercise people and people that do things, runners, Whatever it is they do, they keep doing it. They keep practicing it. They don't stop. They don't stop and then they say, oh, now I'm going to go sign up for a race and I'm planning on winning that race. That's not how it really works. 
You have to keep devoting yourself every day, every day, every day to the divine in order to reach something. And so I hope this helps you gain some understanding about the practice with Neem Karoli Baba. It's not just a kirtan practice. It's an individual practice that you do, that you connect from your heart to his heart. And even though it may appear the body is no longer here, his spirit is alive and well, and it's here all the time for you to access just by calling upon it. And this is basically how saints work. And you can call upon Neem Karoli Baba and he'll come to you, but you have to call upon him from your heart. And it has to be open. And it can't be filled with evilness or hatred or uh, undesirable things that you think Neem Karoli Baba needs to give to you. It has to be spiritual enhanced things to help your neighbor, to help yourself, to help you enliven and live in the world better and to make the world a better place for each and every one of your fellow human beings. Instead of putting them down all the time, we need to enhance and help everybody. And something else I just wanted to share with you, when I was out in Taos, New Mexico, I did attend this little uh, church that was uh, it's called the Golden Willow Chapel. And this is a picture of Dorgama that somebody gave me from Taos, New Mexico. And it's a very, very special picture. And uh, if you ever get a chance, go out there and visit the Golden Willow Chapel out in Taos, New Mexico. And uh, you'll get some special energy from that place. Uh, there's some real good blessings from there. And if you're ever out in Taos, I highly encourage you to go check it out and see it for yourself. As well as the temple itself, the Neem Karoli Baba Ashram and temple out in Taos, New Mexico. Wonderful thing to see. And in the meantime, check out the Zoom channels. Check out all the videos on that they're doing at the uh, Neem Karoli Baba temple out there. Uh, enjoy the Hanuman Chalices. Enjoy all the prayers they do. But realize it's about what you do for your fellow human being on an everyday basis and for yourself more than anything, is the most valuable thing you can do for yourself and the world. And with that being said, Namaste, Jai Bhagwan. May you see the light within yourself and within all others. Have a blessed and wonderful day.